At the end of the last video, I finished the restoration of the spindle and the chuck. In this video, we're going to jump right back into where we left off from there and go to the spindle housing to clean all that grime and grease out. Once that's clean, then we can put those guys back into this. To remove this thing, we've got to take these little clamp guys off, clean up the rusted edges right here, clean this guy up, and we'll seal it and decide whether we want to paint it or not. Moving over to the grounding screws, the left side came out perfectly, but the right one not so much. I had to use a screw extractor kit to basically bore out the center of the screw, and then flip the bit to the reverse threads to remove the stripped screw. I decided to wrap the terminals in Teflon tape because I don't have any electrical tape, just to protect them from getting all gross when I pull them through the dirty pulley enclosure. We're transitioning back to the motor to get this part off and get the dust all cleared out of it, but for now we gotta take this off. With everything disassembled, I wanted to give all these bolts and parts an acid bath. But to make sure that I don't lose track of all the parts, I drew boxes on a piece of paper with labels and then took a picture just to be safe. And this is what they look like before the acid bath. We're using Evaporust mainly because it's not terrible for the environment and it's much safer to use in a fairly unventilated space. It does, however, take a little longer to remove all the rust and kind of looks like healthy urine. Just take this stuff and just drop it in. You can already see the bubbles coming up. Not as productive of a day as I would have liked it to be, but definitely going to be a good little progress report. The next day. Another new day in the shop, and we are gonna get the rest of the kind of grime and grease off this front part, and really just kind of use what we can, try to get some Q-tips under there, and just clean the grease out, and not even have to worry about it anymore, because I don't have the tools to get it out, and I feel like me trying to make shift the tool will end up just breaking the machine, or the tool. So, to save myself some money, we're just gonna do that. Kind of trading fluid on this stuff. I gotta get the motor off just so I can get these pegs out because the rust really settled around it and now I can't like easily you have to like lift this and like it's not practical. So we're gonna take the motor off. I'm gonna take a picture of where it's at exactly so that way it'll be the same way when I put it back. Quick little tip for anyone else who wants to do this, get yourself one of these. This is a universal socket. Basically, there's a little magnet in the middle and any size bolt that you put in that middle, it'll hold and it'll turn, which is cool. So I can take this same bit and take these bolts off and use the same bit to remove those bottom bolts down there. <laughs> Got him, we got the big guy out. Yeah. Where'd that bolt go? There it is. And now you can see the real mess. Nothing a little evaporate rust can't handle. I'm literally a walking ad all the time. I had to order a new handle block. I didn't even realize when I was restoring it, but the one that I have is like cracked. Well, I almost fell. It's like cracked right there, and then this part's totally chipped off. This one's fine, but it's totally stripped. So I ordered a new one. But for now, until it gets here in like 10 days, I'm just gonna put this back together. If we're at that stage, you fit? Oh yeah, you fit. We're gonna set this guy aside. I'm gonna focus on these guys for now. What am I doing? I have this. Of course, my camera decides to lose focus throughout this entire time lapse, but you still get the idea. Now, to kind of prevent the rust in the future, I'm gonna spray some of this quick drying silicone. It gives like a nice like silicone coating on the outside. It's really thin, but it lasts. finished with these other parts, now we're gonna start this guy and make him look all pretty. It's 
time to clean this little handle up. Doesn't look the best right now, but once it's done, it'll look great. So yesterday, these things were rusty as shit. So today, we're just gonna fish them out. What do I just use? Now they're umpy out, and you can see already. Look at that, look in there. That's what it is now, and there's just the slightest piece of rust right there. But like, that's easy. Fucking science, man. Even today, like every one of them had like some form of rust on it, and now it's gone. Look at that, wow. I mean, you saw them, these are the front screws. Look at that washer. That guy all sparkling and shit. Look at this nut, oh my God. Look at this nut. Wow. Wild. Ah, get over here. You can just keep reusing this stuff. You just keep reusing it. Like, boom. New bolts in there. We're missing one. There you go. Now we get to take apart Mr. Motor. I don't know what I'm doing here. Or with anything here. But how hard could it be? You know? If a machine can do it, so can I. See if I can give these guys some new life. I'm gonna sand with 80 grit first to get the letters to be flush. I want the new ones to not have any letters at all. I just want it to be like red and green. Just scuff it up a little bit. I'm gonna use fluorescent green and then an apple red. So the paint dried overnight and these little buttons are very sharp. Super cool. So now we're gonna reassemble this guy and put them all back together. Little springs, these little nuts. I seem to have misplaced the two tiny screws. Uh -huh. There's one. I found the other one, which is good. The little tiny guy. It wasn't in here though, it was on the table. But look how clean these things are. So now, where did I put that screw? Just had it. Where did I put it? Here it is. You're kidding me. The the thread strip. Oh no, it didn't. Yeah, it did. Fuck. We must improvise. Hmm. It doesn't matter how much it sticks out back here. It matters is it being tight enough to push it down. Improvisation. So we're gonna try this guy. Cash money. Look at those, look at those buttons. Look at that, wow. Problem solving. I still have to 3D print the base that's what I'm gonna do this weekend at home. It's a little jank sauce 5,000, but you know, that's fine. Perfect, that works. All right, let's get this motor back together. The paint didn't come out the best on this thing, but you know, it was just to really seal it from the rust, so. So we must be very strategic in where we, how we do this, because this thing's very heavy. I'd say like 90 pounds. Okay, I got one in. Kind of. Okay. All right. We're good. Yes, this is how it was before. And I did the top ones on. Okay, so we're gonna get this thing reassembled. Now, I'm gonna run the cables through it again. It's still pretty gross in here. Before on this side, after on this side. It looks way better than it did. Give me a scotch bright and some penetrating fluid. We'll be fine, we'll be just fine.
a very rough like mock circuit. I just want to see if that motor works or not. Make sure it's off. Please don't catch on fire or spontaneously combust. It's a big deal. It's a big, big deal. We got a spinning spindle. Let's go. This works, this pulley should spin. Oh yeah, boy. Would you just look at that? Would you just look at it? Would you look at this? I'm so proud. It's time to grease those up and put them in here. I still have to make the little holder for this and like the panel here, but that doesn't stop me from putting everything together. Even though I'm gonna have to take it all apart in about a week when the new one gets here. But like, that's just a quick swap of grease and swap, you know? Now we take these guys and we put them here. I already started the greasing. It was recording and I pressed record because I thought it wasn't recording. You know the deal, yeah. I just fixed the return spring with a pair of pliers and a screwdriver. It was it was like sticking out past that lip and so it wouldn't allow me to sit it flush on to where it needs to go right there. But now it should sit nice and flush. Give me a nut for this thing. This unravels like it just did again. Nice. Did you see that? Did, did, did you see? Amazing. What a way to end the week. It's not as clean as I would like it, to be honest, but with what I've got right now and like the state that it was in, this is night and day. I just don't have the materials I need, like a sandblaster or a soda blaster to really give this thing the best look it can. But it'll definitely be revisited in the future when I do have access to a sandblaster or a soda blaster and a paint space. But for now, this is totally adequate. I'm more than pleased right now it's so close to being done, which is so exciting. Because then we can restore that vice over there. Then we have the scroll saw and the band saw and the sander. And then we have a whole arsenal of some of the most elite tools you can get for under $1,000 that I got them for. They will last longer than me, most likely. This is crazy. All right, I got to clean up and go home. See you later.